The Little Mermaid has always been black way back from 1989 when she first appeared. She's specifically African and I'll tell you why right now, I won't waste your time. It's very simple, The Little Mermaid is a girl who was born under the sea but spent her whole life dreaming about leaving her homeland to go and be part of that world of foreigners. Does that sound like a familiar situation to any of you watching right now, especially my Ghana people and my Niger people? I mean, does that sound familiar to you? Is that something you're thinking about? Nigerians have a word for what's going on here. Japa, a Doing whatever it takes to leave Nigeria. <laughs> Hollywood made a Japan movie and they didn't even know it. And that is the real reason the little mermaid had to be black. Now let's go into the movie itself. No spoiler alert because the very the cartoon, the very first one, is a major spoiler. If you've watched that one, you know what is going to happen in this one. Also, you should have seen it by now, unless you are living under the sea. So the new little mermaid is one of Disney's attempts to answer the question: what if cartoons came to life. These people loved it when they were children so instead of making new cartoons for the children of today, why not make the old movies for the adults of today because they have money to pay for streaming services. Uh, this movie caused a lot of trouble on the internet because of the skin color of the, the mermaid. But honestly, who else was going to play the, the little mermaid? Selena Gomez? Please, let's all calm down. And by casting a black girl, Disney have successfully destroyed the racial stereotype that black people cannot swim. America got a nigger into the White House and now you have a nigger under the sea, okay? The movie opens with this scene where some sailors are trying to kill a mermaid, not because she's black, thankfully, but because they hate mermaids. It's a mermaid! A mermaid? Use your eyes! So after this, we are taking deep into the water where we see the beautiful environment that is home to a lot of our food. Mami Watapa and they have given them branding like this. Wow. And then over here, we get the wackest and the weakest king reveal I have ever seen. My daughters of the seven seas. Ah! no vibes at all and also sardines you're using sardines as your cape of all the fishes in the sea you just use the one that we use to make salad it's not like you guys don't have clothes yeah the women are wearing clothes so why don't you use a real real cloth for your cape i feel bad for sardines on earth you are used for salad and all kinds of things and then in the sea you also have to be this guy's cape and follow him everywhere that's crazy tamika perla gaspia indira mala Karina. And as you can tell by the faces of the daughters, the king has a very diverse taste in women who lay eggs for him to come on. Because that's how reproduction works. Under and that the sea. That's of course when they're not having sex with us in our dreams, according to our pastors. So now we meet our girl. We aren't supposed to be this far from the palace, Ariel. Let's go back. Jesus Christ, what did they do to him? What did they do to him? How hard? <laughs> this is their problem with these live action remakes. It's like in the Lion King where we saw smiling lions as children and then now we are watching these real lions and they can't smile and it looks weird. I like to quote Stoneboy and say this is some bullshit. One, two, three, let's go. I don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. You know what is more wonderful? How the iPhone and everything else is made. And you might be more excited to know that the children who make this stuff, they look exactly like you in the skin color department and the others look like your sister. I mean, your father is using sardines as his cape, so I don't think your labor laws are too different from ours. And over here, she breaks into my second favorite cartoon song of all time. Number one is Barbie and the Island Princess. That's that song. You know, if you know that song, you know that there's no song is stopping that song. But this one is number two for me, okay? Up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Uh, let us hold on to that thought for a second. Oh. Um, should we? Should we, should we tell her? Wandering free. You see, my dear, um, the problem is that people of our skin color back in the 1800s, at least the, for the first 60 years, uh, we were not wandering free. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> free. Yeah, we were not wandering free. In fact, some of us were very expensive, if you know what I mean. But they don't reprimand the daughters, bright young women. <laughs> Bruh, did this, this, this girl learn about human life or is she? Well, I'll leave that for the feminists in the comments. Please let our black sister here know about women's rights in the 1800s. I can't explain it, Grimms. It's in my blood. Even now, I. Feels there's something out here calling to me. Hey, man, bro, please, it's Mami Watari are calling you. Okay, don't go. That's that's what they do. That they'll call you. 
You enter the sea and then they catch you, you don't come back. But, uh, let me know. I was saying some anointing oil. So you used to anoint yourself every morning and every night. So you don't hear that evil, the, those evil voices. Fight! Come on! Didn't do anything, yeah. Please, the dog was already swimming to the boat. He just went to taxi small. I do like I've done something. You haven't done anything. Get away. I guess that's enough to fall in love with somebody. And she's also soaking wet, but that's because of the water. We still don't know how mermaid sex works. He's alive! Alert the queen! Part of your world. You are shouting too much. They'll come and catch you. Are you are you okay? They'll come, they'll hear you and come and catch you. You know what they'll do to you when they catch you, right? So they break into another classic song under the sea, but with a little twist. Darling, it's better. Don't wear it's wetter. Take it from me. It is better down there where it is wetter. Under the sea. Hey, under the sea. Why is she singing? Does she know the point of the song? The song is meant to convince you to go against everything you stand for as a person, uh, as a mermaid. And you are singing along. That's like a policeman singing fuck the police. Or Caitlyn Jenner singing If I were a boy You were. I mean, it's not, you can't sing that song now. Naturally, Naturally. Even this Like they just wanted her to sing along because her voice is nice, but they didn't get the logic of the entire situation. But honestly, we can't blame her. Under the sea is a banger. Anybody will sing along. And they, when the boss get hungry, guess who gonna be on the plate? See this fish? They didn't stay under the sea. That's why they are here. <laughs> so now we see the human kingdom, and I think everybody was quite shocked to see the queen. Shipwreck. Any casualties? None, your majesty. Well, thank goodness no lives were lost. Uh, indeed. This restless nature of his, it concerns me. A black woman being queen over white people in the 1800s, it's a little bit somewhere. I know it's the Caribbean, but you know, you know what I'm saying. But that's not my main problem. My main problem is, how did she have a white son? Like everybody, you would think that his dad was white, but the real story is quite interesting. Into the ocean. They would kill us all if they could. It's ridiculous. Is it? May I remind you that a deadly shipwreck first brought you to us? I see, so a white baby washed onto the shores of the kingdom in the Caribbean and all of a sudden he's next in line for the throne. The king and the queen just adopted him and made him the prince. I, I, I don't, this doesn't make sense. By the way, shout out to my Caribbean brother, Mr. BW, okay? I know you wouldn't like this, you wouldn't like to see this at all. <laughs> Personally, I don't believe anybody is more privileged than me because of the color of their skin. But according to the, the conversation around this movie, when they cast a black girl in place of a white girl, isn't this like the biggest form of white privilege ever? That like as a white baby, you get washed ashore and a lot of a sudden you become prince. Do you think that in this cinematic universe, if I, as a baby, washed onto the shores of this kingdom, I would become prince? Fuck no. <laughs> and it's in the Caribbean, bro. <laughs> that explains why the prince, this prince, has no aura, just like the king in the sea. No, I am on the shoreline, but I'm still lost at sea in these wild, uncharted waters. I don't know how to explain it, but the vibes are not there. He's not giving the prince vibe, the musical vibe. I, I, I can't explain it all, but you know what I'm saying. In wild, uncharted waters. He's not doing the wild uncharted waters. He's not doing it well. Oh, now the story goes back into the wild uncharted waters. Is my little one in love? In love with who? Throughout the movie, the only men, men we see are the guys. We only see some of them at the end of the movie. There are no others just swimming around and having fun like the fishes and all that stuff. So, who is she falling in love with? Aquaman. So the dad finds out about her little storeroom where she stores the things that the human beings have made. And they have a huge fight that goes something like, I love him. But he's human. But I love him. But he's human. There's savages. You don't know that. They killed your mother. Oh, we killed your mom? We are very, very sorry. She probably looked like big fish and we were hungry. No! Please! Father, stop! This ends now! And this brings me to an important thing in this movie. The trident. That fucking trident. The big fuck. This shit is useless and it, it makes no sense. Let me explain. So Ariel goes to make a deal with the devil who is a witch auntie. She also breaks into another song. Tarot's palm fortunate so no, we are tired. So Aria finally finally gets her visa to travel but it comes at a very big price. As some of you who are watching overseas with fake identities can relate to. She gets fit for the first time like in the cartoon and she swims up 
But how did she know? How does she know how to swim with feet? She has never had feet before. Her brain doesn't know what the movement is like. Even us humans have to learn how to do it. Or maybe the swimming ability comes with the magic. But that's not the case because in the cartoon, she couldn't swim. Sebastian and Flounder had to come and help her up. Also raising some questions like how can a small fish and a crab raise a woman up? But at least they got the idea right. Also, they added this new dumb thing to the deal where Ariel cannot remember that she has to kiss the guy. What? Why? What's the point of that? She already lost her voice and that's going to make things already difficult. So why would you add that layer? It wasn't in the original cartoon. Oh my god, let's continue. Don't forget, we are getting to the stupidity of the trident. So as Fate and the script to have it, they start flirting with each other and singing songs. Come on, this is the Caribbean. Where is the grinding? And in this part, he and Ariel are exploring the island while the other guys look for the mystery girl. How are the other guys supposed to know who the mystery girl is? There's no Cinderella shoe for them to go and fit throughout the town. So who are they looking for? What are they looking for? If the time is right and the time is tonight, go on and kiss the girl. So you heard a voice with a Caribbean accent that you know is not yours telling you to kiss the girl and you thought to yourself, oh, that's, that must be normal. That must be my own brain telling me to kiss the girl. Have you seen the color of your skin? There's no way your brain will tell you to kiss the girl. So Ariel fails. She couldn't kiss the guy before the sun sets on the third day. So now she belongs to the witch. She belongs to me now. <laughs> oh, you see? We made a deal. So with the trident, you couldn't break that little force and as soon as you don't have it anymore, you die? The king of the seven seas has no power and has no life without his big fork. Useless. At least the woman has her witchcraft. She can do her thing herself and put potions together without any, any big fork. But you're the king, you know, you have a crown, you do all this stuff and then like you... you Without your big fork, you just die. So they fight and kill the queen. In the cartoon, is the guy who kills the queen by driving the boat into her. But over here in this movie, the girl kills the queen herself because women don't need men to save them. But here is the part that got me the most. So the trident could bring the king back to life, why didn't he use it to bring their mom back to life? That's the whole reason why he won't let his daughter go up to the surface and he won't let her do her own thing. All this while you could save the mom with a trident and you didn't do it. If you can save yourself, why can't you save the mom? And if you can only save yourself with a the trident, then once again, useless. He used it to turn his daughter into a human, so like, what can this thing do and not do? I don't understand. If he turned the girl into a human with a thing, then it means he could have turned the prince into a merman. That would have been easier. He'll keep his daughter and also have a prince right there. I think that's better because the guy wants to be in the waters. The, you know, and the, okay, I guess. The guy wants to be in the waters. The girl also wants to be part, part of their world. So, I don't know. Maybe a well. I don't, I don't know. Why am I, I still want to ask you to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will ask you to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the movie. Did you watch it when it came out? I watched it when it came out and the day it came out. Uh, but I don't you know. It's my favorite Disney cartoon so I kinda liked it, it wasn't bad. Now Ariel loved the prince so much that she was willing to give up her homeland to go and live with the humans but she doesn't love him as much as I love you and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Sing the song! never ever ask you to like and subscribe But you go fish share my video if you know you're feeling my fight People are gonna never ever ask you to like and subscribe but you go fish share my video if you know